Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living With you I've made my decision You lift me up Fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted With you Yo, what's going on to all the Brazewood graduates at Brazewood Church? Listen, first of all, I want to tell you all, you made it, all right? You made it. You're not teenagers, you're quarantine teenagers, which is even more special. You didn't just make the history books. I mean, the yearbooks, you made the history books, okay? So that's a big deal. You're going to look at this and say, 2020, yeah, I remember that. I was there doing that whole thing. But listen, God has a way of taking even the worst possible circumstances and making it into something more amazing. He can take a mess and make a masterpiece out of it. The Bible says all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And when it says all things in the Greek, that means all things, uh, no matter what the thing is, not good things, not some things, all things, even quarantine things work together for our good. So y'all be encouraged. God is with you. Much love. You are here. Moving in the midst, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, working in this place, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, moving in the I worship you, I worship you, you are here, working in this place, I worship you, I worship you. What a tremendous accomplishment we have seen with these young people and young adults. It is, yeah, let's give them all a hand. We. Some of us are young enough to remember what it was like to graduate. Some of us don't remember. <laughs> Seems like it was a long, long time ago. But we want to offer a word of prayer in, in appreciation for this was a most unusual academic year of all of time. I think this young man said it was a quarantine teenagers. That's for the teenagers. It's a quarantine adults for those that are adults, I guess. But we want to pray. If you, are a, if you are a graduate here, I want you to stand to your feet. Would you do that if we have any of our graduates here? Stand to your feet. Hey! The balcony as well. We are so, so very proud of you. And I, I just want to read one verse. In Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25, it says, Heaviness in the heart maketh a man to stoop, but a good word word maketh it glad. And I want you to know God has only good words for you. Only blessings for you in your life. And you have only scratched the surface of what God has in store for you. What God has in store is only good. Only good. The devil wants to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have overcome the devil. I have overcome the world. And so we, we, we are proud of you and we want to offer this word of prayer. I want you to do this, congregation, if you would. Just stretch forth your hand towards these who are standing. And, and I, want you to, I want you to, some of them are your grandchildren or your children or, or friends or family or just Brazewood family. And I want you to offer a word of prayer with me and join with me. Would you do that right now? Father, we give you thanks for these young men and young women that has accomplished something so awesome. Graduating from high school, Father, in a, in a season and time where it is and was very, very difficult. 
and college and universities, Father, where it was extremely difficult having to do some of the classes and courses online. But they were disciplined, Father, and they carried through and they saw it to the end. And the reward and the prize was the graduation and the, and the certificates that they received. But Father, this is just the beginning. This is not the end. You have greater things in store for them than anything they could ask or imagine. And I pray you'll anoint them with the power of the Holy Spirit, that you will be their guide. Holy Spirit, guide every step they take. For the word says, the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. And we believe, Heavenly Father, that what is before them is far greater than anything that is behind them. That you will use them, Father, to bring glory and honor to your name and to bring change, not only to this state and city, not only to this nation, but change to the world for the glory of God. So, Father, fill them with your blessing, with your word, and with your spirit. And I pray that everything they lift their hand to in the will of God will prosper beyond their expectations. And Father, I thank you for their parents and grandparents as well, that they saw it through till the end. And I pray a blessing upon them as well. May their plans, may their plans succeed. And may you be glorified in all things. And for this, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen.